Okay, as you can see here, the uh, install is pretty much hauling ass. It's already at the. Uh, <laughs> well, it's already at 98 percent. It was at 96. And literally, this install with the RAID Zero, with all the upgrades, I don't even think it takes you about five minutes, if if that. Going to reboot. Okay, here we go. I think this is uh, pretty much going to complete the installation. It's rebooting. Type in name, I'll change that later, just type in PC for video purpose, I'm not going to put a password, not going to put that in right now, ask me later, going to want to set an eastern time zone, blah 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 blah. Go in here and tweak out a few settings. Control panel. Gonna turn off this uh, user account control. That's annoying as hell. Go in and program and features. Turn off Windows features. This speeds up the machine immensely. This is the games. Uncheck the box for games. That's the games that came on the machine. Not the ones that uh, you're going to put on there and play. Press OK. Alright, let me check something out here. Going to go here to your drive. I want to change your policy. Turn off Windows Write Cache Buffer Flush. It's a must. Do that on the uh, second drive also. Press OK. And um, you're going to have to go into Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Computer Management. Storage, disk management, and you have to uh, initialize the second disk. Then you're going to have to format it. And I'll show you how that goes there. It's going to ask you to um, initialize the disk. You want it on the uh, general partition. Press OK. You can uh, right click on the drive see here this is the first drive of the OS this is the other part of the drive of the partition you're going to want to right click on this use simple volume press next the size next give it the uh, allocating letter you want going to give it M for main storage I'm going to that's what I'm going to use at least in uh, press next Going to use the um, all standard sizes. I'm going to leave it alone. 
press next, press finish. Now you see here it's already formatted, blah, 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 gone. So what happens is, go all the way back out. My computer, now you see that the volume is there, there's two volumes. I'm gonna use a second volume for, um, I'll show you here, go to system. I'm gonna use that for the swap file. Go to performance, settings, advanced, virtual memory. Now I'm gonna take this off. No page file for uh, volume C. Press set, press yes, there's none there. Now I'm gonna allocate this custom. I'm gonna start off at, uh, like it says here, minimum allowed is 16. I'm gonna press in uh, 20. And I'm gonna put in here the recommended. Press OK, press OK, press OK. Just gonna press the restart real quick. And you walk you through a couple more settings here in the uh, MS config. Usually I take it and um, make a shortcut to the uh, desktop so I can access that pretty easy. And I'm uh, going to go to um, services. I'm going to tap on the uh, service. This is straight out all the alphabetically. Start from the bottom. going to use uh, don't require a workstation. There's a few of them here. I don't require the uh, Windows update. I don't require Windows search. A few of them in here that you don't actually require. Sorry, those. And there's a couple of you uh, telephone. Don't require the uh, TCP IP NetBIOS helper. Don't require a super fetch. Don't require a server. Parent controls, no, I think not. Offline files, I don't think so. I got about four terabytes, so I'm not worried about offline files. Plenty of storage. IP helper, not gonna be required. Home group provider, that can go bye bye in the trash. Home group listener, I don't think so. You're out of there, facts. I'm not that old yet, let's see here. Disk fragmenter, you wanna turn that off. 911. That would chew up your solid state drives in a heartbeat. Turn that off. Disk deframat, do not use. What else we got here? That's it. Press apply. Press OK. Press the restart. And of course, um, install your rapid storage technology uh, driver. Um, and uh, once you do that, it's really important to uh, do the control panel. I'm sorry. Oh, system. Yeah, we're going to erase by your system. And do your um, 
system rating after you install your in storage, uh, Intel Storage Technology Driver plus your uh, video drivers. Install the latest and greatest. And um, as you can see there, the specs on the machine 16 gig, 64 OS, blah, 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 blah. And hope that helps you out, guys. Anyway, uh, don't want this video to drag on. But uh, I'll watch you later. Peace out.